take you a little history of the church. There's no more church in the Old Testament. Old church began in the New Testament. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean the concept of church is not there in the Old Testament. I can clearly show you the concept of the church, the concept of the shepherd right in the Old Testament. As I said, God is an omniscient God. People of God, God introduced a concept called the tabernacle to the people of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. And tabernacle is nothing but the house of God. Tabernacle is nothing but the temple of God. Tabernacle is nothing but the worship place of God. Where the presence of God dwells. So the concept of church is not started in the New Testament. The concept of church is already there in the Old Testament. But under a cover. Under a different name. Under a different language. Under a different... So what God planned is, what God keeps everything in the shadow in the Old Testament, God always bring it through Jesus into the New Testament and make it a substance into your life. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. May the Lord speak to us this morning. Whatever there in the Old Testament, God always transcends that and bring it, use Jesus to bring all the Old Testament the, uh, uh, the concept into the New Testament so that the shadow of the Old Testament can become the reality of the New Testament for you and me. Can I say amen? Amen. amen. Glory be to God and make it clear. People of God, in the Old Testament, in the tabernacle, the law was hidden there. In the New Testament, in the church, the grace was hidden there. Amen. Hallelujah. The law is overtaken by the grace in the New Testament church, but whether in the Old Testament, the law is kept in the tabernacle. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And 4,000 years, the law was ruling. And for the past 2,000 years, the grace is reigning. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, the concept of church is already in the Old Testament. You have a priest there. In the New Testament, you have a shepherd there. I want to call as a shepherd than the pastor. Because when you say pastor, we have so many meanings for that. People can argue on different things. My, my interest is to teach the word, not to argue on the word. Because when you say pastor, hey, deacon also can be pastor. This elders also can be pastor. You can do different denominational uh, uh, explanation. But when you take the shepherd, there's only one thing. Who flocks the sheep is shepherd. Amen? Make me sense? That's what Jesus said. I am a good shepherd. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Jesus never said I'm a good pastor to you. No. Jesus said I am a good shepherd to you. Shepherd only can give the life to the sheep. Amen. Even in the churches today, we the shepherd should give everything best possible to the people God has given unto this in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me go. What the Pentecost Sunday represents. Pentecost Sunday is also called as White Sunday. Which Sunday? A White Sunday. Because on that day, they all wear the white dresses. That's a custom of the Jew. And they celebrate the feast well, I mean, on the Sunday. So they call, it's not on the Sabbath day. Sabbath is on Saturday. And they will celebrate that on the 50th day, which is the first day of the week, Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. And God knows that. That's the reason you've got to understand Bible very clearly that why we are celebrating the first day of the week, not the seventh day. Because God transcended from the seventh day to the first day so that he can rise from the dead and he can prove he is a God. Amen. Hallelujah. So God has finished the law and God has finished. Let me tell you very clearly when I say finished, God has fulfilled the law and transcended you from the Sabbath to the real world called the Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't live anymore in the Sabbath. We transcended into the resurrection power of Jesus. Thereby we celebrate the 50th day, which is the born of the church day. That's the reason we are celebrating Sunday as a Lord's day, not the seventh day as a Lord's day. Because on the Lord's day, on the 50th day, on the birthday of the church, we are making our church gather. Amen? Am I making it sense? Why not on Saturday and why it's on Sunday? The Pentecost Sunday 
is a commemoration of the descending of the Holy Spirit upon the 12 apostles and also the disciples where they're sitting together after the crucifixion, after the resurrection, and after the ascension. Amen. Hallelujah. Because ascension has taken place after 40 days. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be. Resurrection is on the third day. Ascension is on the 40th day. Pentecost is on the 50th day where the church was born. Amen.